Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, the place where tech meets clarity. In today's video, we are diving into PlanView, the powerful project portfolio management platform that helps organizations align strategy with execution. Whether you're a project manager, a PMO lead, or just curious about streamlining your workflow, this video will guide you step-by-step step through the essential features of PlanView. From setting up portfolios, managing resources, tracking performance metrics, to collaborating across teams, we've got you covered. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of PlanView. On the top corner, you have multiple options. You can log in using your credentials or the better option is going to be clicking the section where it says browse demos. Why? Because on the bottom part corner, you have an option to click this option right here that says product trials. You have two options. You can try the plan view agile place or the plan view project place, whichever you prefer. Obviously, I'm going to choose the second one because that is going to be for today's video. If you do, you'll be forwarded here. All I have to do is provide all the information needed and then follow the on-screen instructions. All right. Now, the next thing is you would be able to receive a welcome email such as this one that says you need to click the activation link that is going to be headed to the email address that you have used for this account. If you do, you should be able to have this okay now click on confirm and then you will be forwarded successfully on the platform itself now at this point it's very important to know that you should be able to not use any antivirus or vpn because that could interfere with the connection all right so again on this section there's going to be a welcome dialog box here all I have to do is if you want to show the guided tour, click this button, but I want you to click the explore on your own because for one, we should be able to navigate and familiarize ourselves on the platform. On the my overview right here, you would notice that it has it has different sections for us to explore. The my overview basically is gonna be your personal dashboards, right? Your name, your profile, your work, recent documents, and a lot more. Okay, so you would see all of the assigned tasks across all the workspaces, upcoming deadlines, or a quick view of your current workload and priorities. So this helps you focus on what needs your attention today and the near future. Now let's go to the drop-down menu here. You have the My Teams. Basically, this shows all the teams that you are part within. Okay, so as you can see, if you click on it, you can view team members and roles. So if you don't have any teams yet, this is going to be the perfect opportunity for you to create one. I want you to click on the create button here. Wait for it. Now we're going to name this team as this one right here. So let's do that and then press the create team. So we'll be forwarded here. So you can put in the description. All right. So let's do that so description is going to be like this one of course you can add your members here you see the plus button you can add members here invite members for example if you're working in, in a collaborative environment or working with their other clients you can do that and invite them here and they would be able to receive a welcome email that you're inviting them to the specific workplace here in plan view all right now the next on the drop down menu is going to be a section for the workspaces. Again, if you don't have any workspaces, this is a perfect opportunity for us to do that. On the uh, top corner, you have the conversations, plans, boards, documents, whiteboards, meetings, issues, members, reports, and templates, recycled bin, and administration. So for now, we're not going to discuss all of them, but instead focus on the templates. You can review workflow, which in here, you can have a template name. If you don't have a template, click the add a template. All right. So you can basically add some information here. All right. Say, is it going to be um, automatic? You can put the uh, title, add participants, for example, finance, marketing, new group, and that starts in what? Like six, nine days. 
you can put all them here all right and click the add button it's very important to do that because from here the template has been created now on the document you have all these if you're working with multiple data you would be able to add one if you have like a folder text document word document microsoft excel microsoft powerpoint and a web link or a url on the plan if you wanted to create a plan all right i'm not gonna do that but instead you see there's gonna be an option here for you to create an activity or create milestone say we're gonna create an activity all right so description is this and title is gonna be this one so you can add attach a files let's do that if you do you have multiple options you can drag and drop the files from these sources all right now now that's gonna be our file and then after doing all that we can go back here now simply put the next is going to be the administrator right and this recycle bin so we're not going to do that we're skip on it we're going back to the main drop down menu you have the time reporting so essentially the time reporting is where you use for logging the time you spent on tasks and project as you can see if you don't have any time yet just click on the add button right here you can submit hours worked track effort against estimates which is kind of useful for billing resource planning and analysis so right it's in, it ensures accurate time tracking and workload management so just save it and you'll be able to do that another um topic here is going to be the portfolio so these are going to be the related collections of projects you have the status deviations portfolio administrator so we're going to create a new portfolio and it's really easy all right so i want you to type in the specific of that and we have already created this all right so you can put in the description okay and then after that just click on the save button if you can find it right here now we're going to go to the section of another drop down menu which is going to be the workloads now the workload is essentially collections of related projects you can monitor project status in kpis across multiple workspaces you can view high level summaries and health indicators and align projects with strategic goals the portfolio level visibility for decision makers and project management all right and then next is going to be the requests so the requests are just here it's a place for incoming work or project proposals okay so it users can submit requests and of course for tasks so that managers review and approve requests so it can streamline work intake and prioritize incoming demands now on the next deadline is going to be the account administration so this is where your account is going to be taken place you can maintain control and governance over your plan view project place environment so these are going to be users and licenses permissions security settings and a lot more you see if there's going to be document templates settings automation and workspaces now there's going to be the workspace templates if you don't have a template yet this is going to be the golden opportunity for us to create a workplace so let's say and click that button all right so essentially the workspace templates are pre-configured project templates you can reuse so it helps you to boost efficiency and of course reinforce best practices across projects so you can save time during new project setup standardize boards tasks and structures all right so we're going to go back to the main home page and as you can see that's how you use plan view in hindsight now with that being said that's a wrap on our walkthrough of the plan view ppm software platform so it's a powerful solution especially for enterprise level teams who need visibility governance and agility all in one place the learning curve is there but once you get the hang of it the productivity payoff is worth it all right so whether you're managing projects resources or strategic portfolios 
plan v offers a robust set of tools to help streamline operations and align your work with business goals if you found this video helpful do not forget to like subscribe and tap that bell icon so you won't miss out on more in-depth software guides just like this one if you got any questions or a plan view feature you'd like a deeper dive on drop it in the comments we're always reading and responding thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video